Hey guys, I just wanted to tell you, actually I wanted to show you that I can teleport. I know it's crazy, I know it's ridiculous, but I can do it. Do you believe me? Do you? Come on, answer me. Oh, never mind. I forgot I'm just making this video. But really, watch this. You see? Now I'm over here. Does that freak you out? And now I'm over here. I know it's weird. I know it's crazy. No. But I'm back. But yeah, I forgot to tell you, you know, I can I can run super fast. I can teleport. I'm some more teleporting, watch. That's right. I'm back here now. And I know this may freak you out a little bit. Freak me out a little bit too. But uh It's amazing I know. I just Now I'm up here. Does that freak you out? Does that blow your mind? I was so freaked out. When I learned that I could, I was like, wow, I'm a ninja. A ninja warrior. A ninja warrior, that is. A ninja warrior. I, of course, learned this when I was a child in Israel. Part of the elite Israeli commandos, or as they say it in Hebrew, Mavalagalagalaza. Now, if you've ever heard of the Malagalagalagalaza, then you know that the Malagalagalagalaza are pretty darn crazy you know I mean it's ridiculous really I mean I'm a ninja they the all the are all ninjas too but yeah we fought ninjas like tigers actually I once fought a tiger that's where I had my predicament with Jesus at that's right first I was Hebrew with the Israelis and then uh, and I became a Catholic stay strong Jesus anyway I was fighting a tiger. Actually, I was fighting a tiger, a lion, and a bear. That's where the saying comes from. Lions and tigers and bears, oh my. That's where that came from. I was telling the guy about my, uh, my fighting experiences in the jungles of Africa. That I had brought a bear with me. And uh, anyway, I was fighting the, the largest tiger, bear, and lion in the entire world. And uh, once I killed them all with my right arm... They, uh, they were all dead sitting there. And uh, once I'd killed them, like I was saying before I interrupted me, Jesus came down and said, Hey, what's up, Austin? How you doing? Jesus apparently has a very high voice. And I don't know if he was talking like, you know, if he talked in real voice, he'd like, burst my eardrums and hey, make my head explode. Personally, I'd be alright with that because it's awesome. But uh, anyways, like, Yeah, Austin, uh, you're amazing. So you gotta, you gotta be in my army. And I was like, all right, Jesus, I'll be in your army. He's like, yeah, you got to be baptized, though. And I was like, okay, I'll be baptized. What is this? He's like, yeah, you can be baptized, but all you got to do is get some holy water in a bathtub. And I was like, yeah, I got holy water in a bathtub right here, but I'm wearing the bathtub as a cup. All right, Austin, that's kind of weird, but I get it. Okay, get the bathtub and fill it with holy water, then I'll come down and I'll, I'll baptize you. And I was... I was laying there in the bathtub full of water when suddenly I see this white light coming down on me and a guy dressed in a penguin outfit coming down. And I was like, what are you doing, Jesus, in that penguin outfit? He's like, here I am, I'm a penguin. And then out of nowhere, a boy of lightning and blew up the penguin. So he was dead. I was like, whoa, you killed the penguin, you killed Jesus. He's like, no, I'm Jesus, buddy. But now I'll baptize you because you have passed the test. I was like, how did I even pass the test? That doesn't make any sense. I was doing what he said. He was like, no, you realize that he was a penguin. And that Jesus is not a penguin. He's a man. And I was like, yeah, Jesus, you're the man. You are a man and you are the man. Let's get, let's get this baptizing over. I got, I got things to do, things to kill. Because I'm bad. And he's like, okay, I'll come down. And then, when I was really baptized, I saw this amazing man. He looked a bit like, uh, I don't know. Let me see if I have a picture of him real quick. Uh, yeah, I forgot I could teleport, but anyway. So, he let me take a picture of him, and this is, uh, this is what he looked like. I don't know if it's coincidence or something, but this is what he looked like. I don't know why. But anyway, let me put this back. Alright, I'm back. Um, but yeah. Uh, 
anyway, as we were, uh, he came down and he baptized me. He's like, I baptize you, Austin. And he came up and he put his hand on my head like this and jammed me down in the water. I was like, what are you doing, Jesus? You trying to kill me? And he's like, no, Austin, I'm baptizing you. And somehow I could talk underwater. So he's like, yeah, you're baptized. And throws me out of the thing and, and drives me off with an air dryer that was out of his hand. And uh, anyway, he blew, he was like, Woo! I was dry. And he gave me some clothes, the ones that I'm wearing, actually. Yeah, did you know that air, see the, uh, it was over here. The air and aeropostal means air, like from the blow dryer of God. That's where it came from, America. And anyway, he was blow drying me off. He's like, all right, now you gotta go talk it over with Michael about who's gonna be the general of the army of God. So. I walked over, because uh, God had teleported out, he was like, oh, I'm going to show off, I can teleport. And then he came back, out of nowhere, and said, hey, Austin, you can teleport too, because apparently that's how he's talking now, I was over here, teleporting through his voice or something. So, um, I talked to Michael, I was like, hey Mike, what are you doing up there? And he was like, you know, I'm just being cool. And I was sitting there, I was like, Michael, dude, you want me to be general for a little while? He's like, yeah, dude, you can, you can be general. I'll be the other guy. Like, all right, you be that other guy. I'm the general of the army of God, right? Is that cool with you? So, yeah, Austin, rock on with your cock on. I was like, Michael, wash your mouth. All right, I'm the general now. You wash it out. Like, dude, you can't make me do that. I like, yes, I can. I'm the general. All right? Because you're fried chicken. That's the colonel, actually, but I don't know. It makes a difference. Anyway, meat and cheese it's because they have the food of God. Did you know that? Cheese it's. He's right here. Yeah, from God. Mm. Alright, I'm done. I'm good. I'm so good. Wanna see me go invisible? Yeah, I can do it. Watch. Watch this. See where I go? Can you see me? Yeah, I just kind of get my cheese. It's you know whatever. Yeah, here I am. I'm back. Does that blow your mind? It was my mind. Some crazy. Some crazy. Yeah, I'm back. I'm That's right. I went invisible. Okay, here I am. So right, I'm back. You know, it's crazy. What? You like my teleporting? It's really cool, isn't it? I like teleporting. Alright, though. It's time for you to get out of my crib. It's been nice, MTV. Oh, wait. We're not. We're not doing that, are we? Alright. It's been cool, you know, but you need to get out of my house now. We're done with this interview crap. Talking with the army of God or the general or whatever. Don't mess with me, because I'll fight you. I'll send Mike on you. Show me the air! Woo! Alright. Peace out. Talk to you later. Hasta luego. Hasta gato. Isn't that funny? I know it's hilarious. I'll tell you a story one time. Anyway, I'm going to disappear now with my cheeses. It's later. Forgot my cheeses. I'm sorry. Now get out of here. Get out of here. Get out of here. I'm gone. I'm invisible. You don't see me. Woo! You don't see me. Get out of here. Get out of here.